Assalamualaikum and what's up guys? How to take the data for the geological study and the weathering grid in geomechanical classification and rock slope stability analysis. Now, we learn to read data for discontinuities of joint using the Bruton compass. Firstly, we need to find the joint on the slope of the hill. Next, we need to put a little bit of water in the slope of the joint to see the direction of the joint. Not only that, we need to take the this direction using the Bruton compass. Make sure the full height level is central and press the button to get the exact angle. Next, we need to adjust the long level to be center by adjust the arrow behind the compass to get the exact value. Data that we taken for Geological Strength Index, GSI and Rock Mass Rating RMR. The Rock Mass Rating RMR are Joint and joint set with a hammer formation of discontinuity. For the geological strength index, GSI, joint and joint set, and condition of discontinuity. Firstly, we need to find an outcrop on the rock slope. As we can see, the boy take a 1 meter outcrop using the measuring tape. After we choose the part that we like, we need to count how many joint and joint set and in addition, take the average spacing for each joint set and condition. At the same time, we also observe the condition of the joint according to the table RMR and GSI. As we can look, this is rebound hammer. We need to make 3 times 3 grid on the flat surface of the rock. The rebound hammer need to be shot to the surface 3 times 3 on the each grid that we divide and record the value that we have. That is all the steps that we need to find the data. Thank you for enjoying my video.